Polycythemia vera is a myeloproliferative neoplasm characterized by clonal stem cell proliferation of erythroid, myeloid, and megakaryocytic cell lines. Most patients have an activating Janus kinase 2 mutation leading to an overactive JAT stacked signaling pathway, unregulated myeloid cell proliferation, and imbalances in cytokine production. Furthermore, these patients are at high risk of vascular complications, which are associated with advanced age, history of thrombosis, and leukocytosis. Splenomegaly can also be observed in about 30% of patients during the course of the disease. Therapeutic options aim to reduce thrombotic risk and include phlebotomy and low-dose aspirin. Cytoreductive drugs, usually hydroxyurea, are given to patients with high-risk disease. Although hydroxyurea is well-tolerated in most patients, about 10% become resistant or intolerant. In this study, we assess the efficacy and safety of ruxolitinib, a JAK1 and JAK2 inhibitor, in controlling disease in patients with polycythemia vera without palpable splenomegaly who need second-line therapy. We present findings from a Phase 3B study done in 48 hospitals or clinics across 12 countries in Asia, Australia, Europe, and North America. Between March 25, 2014 and February 11, 2015, of 173 patients assessed for eligibility, 74 were randomly assigned to receive ruxolitinib and 75 to receive best available therapy. The results of this study showed that ruxolitinib was superior to best available therapy at controlling hematocrit levels in patients with polycythemia vera. Additionally, more than 80% of patients treated with ruxolitinib were phlebotomy-free compared with 40% of patients treated with best available therapy. Ruxolitinib also led to an improved symptom burden and quality of life. Patients treated with ruxolitinib experienced improvements in all polycythemia vera-associated symptoms, whereas patients treated with best available therapy experienced worsening of most symptoms. Our findings, taken together with other studies in patients with polycythemia vera who are resistant to or intolerant of hydroxyurea, indicate that ruxolitinib could be considered a standard of care for second-line therapy in this patient population.